It's not unheard of for someone with a peanut or egg allergy to need special accommodations when eating. But what about someone who needs to eat gluten-free? That's the case for Carrie Ashour. Whether I'm cooking at home or I'm going out to eat, I have to be very careful about what I eat. Carrie is one of the many sufferers of celiac disease, an autoimmune reaction in the intestine to eating gluten. People with celiac disease cannot eat products containing flour made from wheat, barley, and rye. As a physician board certified in the specialty of pathology, I recognize that celiac disease, which was once thought to have been quite rare, is actually becoming a lot more common. In fact, it strikes about one in 100 individuals, and it can affect people of almost any age group. The prominent symptoms can include chronic fatigue, chronic diarrhea, chronic abdominal discomfort, excessive gas, anemia, decreased fertility in women, and growth failure in children. As I was having these symptoms, I went to my doctor. Um, when I explained everything that was happening to her, she suspected celiacs, and it was a simple blood test that found I had the antibodies, and, and I was diagnosed, and they confirmed that diagnosis with a GI biopsy. When antibodies are present, a small specimen is taken from the patient's intestinal lining. It's then sent to a pathologist who examines it under a microscope to identify the damage characteristic of celiac disease. As a pathologist, I recognize that these symptoms are quite common. Many of us experience these from time to time. It's only if they persist or get worse over time that you might be concerned. If that happens, you should see your doctor. A simple blood test can tell whether you have celiac disease. And if you have it, a gluten-free diet like one that Carrie has adopted may be the best treatment. After starting the gluten-free diet, and I was on the diet for a while, my doctor re-performed some of the tests and was able to see that my intestinal lining was regrowing and my body was recovering. Celiac disease has an important genetic component. If a family member has celiac disease, get tested. Don't delay.